Am I the asshole? For telling my sister her four kids are her plus one? I'm in the midst of planning a wedding and deciding everything regarding the guest list. We have a hard cap of people allowed given the venue's small size. We can only have 105 people, anything after that would not be allowed due to fire codes and venue policy. I have an older sister Mia whose life is a bit of a mess right now. She and her latest ex-partner and dad of one of her kids broke up in the last six months. She has four kids and they are all living at my parents' house for the time being. We opted to not have a child-free wedding after there being so much drama about it so Mia's four kids between 4 and 11 will be at our wedding. She recently got her invite that stated her name and her four kids' names. She then called me and said I assume as an adult I also get a plus one. We told her no, she's not a in a serious relationship and she and her kids are already about five of our total guest list. Our caterer also doesn't charge less for kids so we're paying about $400 for those four kids to be there. We don't want to pay another $100 for some random that she'd bring. She's not dating anyone but said she could easily find a date or bring a friend to have someone to dance with. We told her she has four kids there, that should be more than enough instead of having a plus one. My dad is my side, and is tired of her taking up their house. My mom is a little more sympathetic and saying I should allow her to have a plus one because that's what you do for adults. Spending $600 on just my sister her kids and a date when she's not seeing anyone seriously just seems ridiculous to me though. She is pretty ticked off though. Am I being the R here? Not the asshole. She has options. Attend as planned, stay home with the kids, leave the kids with a sitter and bring someone to dance with, or my favorite, STFU. Not the asshole. It's your wedding and your money. If she wants to bring A plus one then let her pay the $100 it's going to be to feed that person. If your mom is all for it then she can pay for your sister to have A plus one. Not the asshole. I would tell her she can bring her kids or A plus one. Let her choose. You win either way. Not the asshole. If she is taking her kids with her, who she is expecting to watch them when she dances. Not the asshole. I think you're being very generous allowing her four children to she had the nerve to ask for an additional person. Wow. She's a bit of a choosy beggar, isn't she? Not the asshole. I don't even know where your mom gets off on saying that's what you do for adults. You're not obligated to give anyone a one regardless of their age. If your sister wants to dance with someone at the wedding, she can socialize with the other guests because that's what adults do. Not the asshole. Your sister is not in a serious relationship. 105 people is a hard limit I wouldn't want to fill up a slot for some random person when it can mean that you would have to kick someone you actually know and care about off the invite list. I'm sure there will be someone at the weeding that she can dance with. Not the asshole. She will be there with her four kids and her whole family, she doesn't need to bring some rando to keep her company. Not the asshole. Mia doesn't need to bring more people to the wedding. She is already dragging four kids who are all very young to your wedding, so why does she think she gets to bring a random date to this event? You are already wasting hundreds of dollars on her alone. Why don't your other guests get this special treatment? Not the asshole. Hell it's not even just your rules which would be enough on their own. If the venue has a cap it has a cap, fire codes don't care how old each occupant is. Not the asshole. I've been on both sides of this. One it's not like you are telling her no plus one because you dislike her partner or similar. If no serious partner, shouldn't insist and doesn't matter who you are. As long as the rule applies for everyone, then it's fine. Two limited guest caps are real and it's your wedding and your guest list and your money being spent. So if she brings a plus one, as well as the kids, then I have to the hell is going to be watching the kids, not the asshole. Not the asshole. She asked you answered. Hold firm. Not the asshole. If she had a serious partner, that's one thing. But she doesn't, 
so she doesn't need to bring a rando to your wedding. She had four kids to keep an eye on, she'll be occupied lol. Not the asshole. She can dance with her four kids. Not the asshole. Your wedding, you get to decide. If your mum wants to cave to her then your mum can pay the additional cost. Also I get the impression your sister may ramp it up and turn around and say she won't come if she doesn't get A plus 1, do be prepared for that. Not the asshole. The day is not about her, and it's very sweet that you went out of your way to make sure your nieces and nephews are there. Explain that you had to bump a number of people off your guest list already to make sure your family is complete, ask her for some understanding. It sounds like she's touchy about being alone at a wedding because of her recent experiences, which is understandable. Not the asshole. Four kids is more than a plus one. Not the asshole. You already caved to have the kids she either gets a plus one or the kids. End of story. Not the asshole. You have a hard limit on the number of guests and have invited the people that are most important. I could maybe understand her being upset if she had been seeing someone seriously for a year or two or longer, but it's a pretty normal thing for people not to get A plus 1 when they aren't actually seeing someone seriously. Not the asshole. Tell her if she really wants it then she can give you the money for it, you're already paying so much for just her and her kids. Info. In my culture, it's normal for the guest to gift money that is equal or greater than the cost for them to attend the wedding. For example, if I came, I'd have to gift you $150. Which is $100 for cost of my meal $50 as an actual gift. Is your sister paying this as well? I don't see a problem if she's gifting you $150 by 6 humans $900 total. You'd get the $600 you spent on her back anyways. Not the asshole. Not the asshole but sisses does she not get how much dollar this is costing? Not the asshole she isn't in a relationship. She has family there she doesn't need to bring a random date. The only way I would give her a plus one is if she was already in a serious relationship when the invites came out. Nope, not the asshole. She isn't in a serious, committed relationship so why would you invite them? She's being entitled. I am sure your sister can dance with family and friends. Not the asshole. Tell her she can either have A plus one or her kids at the wedding. That might give her some perspective. And if she does find someone to watch the kids and prefers to come with a date, maybe it's for the better. Not the asshole. Tell her she gets either to bring her kids or get a one. Not both. Her choice. Not the asshole, she's unreasonable and you shouldn't be expected to pay for a random person to attend your wedding. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Aside from the outrageous price of weddings 100 for an 11 year old to not eat the food? My goodness you are absolutely not the asshole, honestly you're a saint for making this a kids included wedding.